Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another Tea Time, where I spill the tea on all that Jesus has done for me. I'm extremely tired, because today has been one of the most awesome long days I've had in a while. Started off with being at the Berean Seven Day Adventist Church, 4555 Fairfield Avenue, where we did a full worship service and recorded after for next week as uh, many of us will be out of town for the holiday. And it just was great to have live worship. Let me be honest. Jesus does so many wonderful things for me, but I mess up. And I messed up bad on a song today. And I can admit that. I can say that. Um, I know I need more practice. Um, but I thank God that he allows me still to worship with some of the most awesome, beautiful singers uh, on God's green earth. Um, during that time, we got some bad news, and we did a lot, a lot of praying today. It was like worship and then some type of bad news where we had to come together. And our theme was growth in 2020. And the sermons today just talked about everything we were actually going through. That if we made it to today, we've done a lot. And we should be grateful for the time God has stopped us, slowed us down, and gives us the ability to be, to be quiet. I thank God for answering the prayers already for those who have been sick. And so, I was so grateful just to be there to pray and to minister to those who were sad, but also see those who are sad minister to those who are going through uh, in our church, our community, out to Facebook, out to everybody. Um, that's just beautiful when we push through our pain to still give God the glory, that our, faint, our pain never stops our praise. Um, that was so beautiful today. And when church was over, um, as you can see, I have a little different makeup on today. Yes, uh, I did not do. Uh, the beautiful Raquel McCarter did my makeup today. And um, you can see from the photo that I took some Christmas pictures and birthday pictures. And I am just so grateful to her, her artistic expression. Um... It's nothing like being made to feel beautiful. And I thank God for that. Maybe not everybody agrees in the same way, not even in our church about certain things, but um, that's something that you get to choose and I get to choose. Um, we still give God the glory no matter what. Um, and so I was just really grateful today to go out, to smile, to... I uh, have a really nice time, and oh, I wanted to show you, I have on my God is Dope uh, shirt today, we wore those today at church, and it just felt really nice um, to be shown love and to shine, um, it just, it was just, that was just a great part of the day, and before I scrubbed it all off. I thought I'd jump on here and just talk about how God answered prayers today, how God used us to give him glory. Even in, while we were in pain, nobody would know that we had been praying so hard for those who were sick among us. Nobody would ever know that. Uh, yesterday made a month since my father passed and I'm grieving, but in a way that's filled with so much peace. 2020 has taught me how awesome and valuable peace is, how wonderful it is to have a savior. 2020 has taught me that, not to take anything for granted. There's been so much growth in 2020 and maybe I see it, but I know that other people have seen it too and have commented about the growth they've seen in me. Have I made many mistakes? Absolutely. But God still keeps me each and every day. And I've made it. I made it to today. 
And that's something to give him praise for. That's something to not give up on. You made it to today, regardless of the mistakes that were made in 2020. You made it. You made it. Give him the glory for that. I can enjoy Jesus just on that right there. I also got to um, go spend time with a friend of mine. We had hot chocolate and we went to go and get a bite to eat. And it was just nice to sit and ask, you know, what has God taught you in 2020? And their reaction was similar on how that God just never changes. And though we're in these last days and we're preparing for his soon return, that uh, he is not going to be shaken. He's made up his mind to serve the Lord 110%. And that's what's so important that we make up our minds to serve the Lord for the rest of our life, that we are steadfast, we're not going to compromise. And so the Lord has just done so many awesome things for me today, and I just had to come and share them and give y'all a little tea time in the evening time. But I also just wish you a great, wonderful next week. Um, Anybody that's traveling, I pray that you make it safely. Anybody that's going through, if you want to put in the comments a prayer request or send me an email, please feel free to do so. I will definitely pray and let you know that I have prayed. And I may even send you the prayer. Um, I have no issues with letting people know exactly what I asked God um, for them for. So I pray that everybody continues to enjoy this weekend with Jesus and have a good night's rest. Love you all.